Delivering. The Leader of the Opposition. Thanks, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Why has the Prime Minister failed to bring on legislation arising from the Banking Royal Commission that he voted against 26 times, but instead today broke an all precedent by ramming through this House his extreme anti-union legislation without a word being spoken that was only rejected by the Parliament last week? The Prime Minister has the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. As Treasurer, I introduced the law to this Parliament which ensure banking executives who do the wrong thing not only get prosecuted, Mr Speaker, Member for not Gordon. only which saw the biggest corporate fine ever delivered to a company in this country as a result of the prosecutions that took place under my watch, Mr Speaker. I Member introduced laws Smith. which meant the banking executives who do the wrong thing should be punted from the banking industry forever. Member for now, that's what I did on the banks, Mr Speaker, and those opposite sought to frustrate it. Now those opposite don't want union thugs who attack women being called to account and kicked out of their jobs, Mr Speaker. Now, we stand up for what we believe on this side of the House. And we believe ugly militant unionism should have no place in this country. Clearly, the Leader of the Opposition believes that it does by the way he has acted in this place and frustrated and sought to oppose this bill, Mr Speaker. Well, I'll ask the Treasurer to add to the answer. Members on my left, the member for Cooper, the Treasurer has the call. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, when we released our implementation plan, to the Royal Commission, we said by the end of this year more than 20 commitments would either be implemented or before the Parliament. And I'm pleased to tell the House that it is actually 24, Mr. Speaker. It's actually 24. And the speed at which we have responded to the Banking Royal Commission is in stark for comparison to the record of those opposite when they had the Cooper Review, which was provided to them in 2010. The first piece of legislation was introduced in the Parliament in November 2011, 16 months after the completion of the review, Mr. Speaker, and their experience with FOFA. Uh, and Mr. Speaker, that experience again, it took almost 23 months from when the PJC tabled its report for to when the legislation was introduced. And Mr Speaker, I'm pleased to say that last week I introduced into the House um, an omnibus bill which would extend the unfair contract terms to insurance contracts, which would uh, ensure adequate consumer protection provisions that apply to funeral expense policies and that would introduce a best interest duty requirement for mortgage brokers and reform mortgage broker remuneration. Mr Speaker, only this side of the House can be relied on to implement the recommendations out of the Royal Commission. Yeah. 